we are ready now to discuss the VI characteristics of the NMOS transistor. So what we will do is we are trying to develop an understanding of how to find the relationship between the voltages and the currents for the NMOS transistor. And to understand the voltage current relationship, we will vary the gate voltage from zero to VDD and we will also vary the drain voltage from zero to VDD. So if you will look at the diagrams here, what we will do is we will say that we have the transistor. Here is an NMOS transistor and the gate is connected to a variable voltage and the drain is connected to a variable voltage while the source is grounded. And let us look at the 2D structure for this transistor. So here is the 2D structure for the transistor, and we will connect the source to ground, and we will connect the gate to a variable voltage, and the drain to a variable voltage. And we will begin by making VD to be very small. So we will say that the drain voltage is really small. We will vary it from 0 to VDD, but let's say that the drain voltage to be very small, very close to zero. So initially, let Vg equal zero. So let's see what's going on when we set Vg equal zero. Let's look at the 2D structure of the transistor. So here is the 2D structure of the transistor, whereas the gate is connected to ground, as we stated, and Remember that the body is a P-type material, that means there is more free holes within the body of the transistor, which means that the positive charges are the majority carriers and they act as an insulator between the drain and the source. So there is an insulation between the drain and the source, which means that the current will not flow from the drain to the source. Why? Because there is positive charges between the drain and the source. So the transistor is off, right? Because there isn't any path for the current to flow from the drain to the source. So when the voltage at the gate is zero, the drain and the source are insulated, which means that there is no current flowing through the transistor. By increasing the gate voltage, remember that the voltage will attract negative charges and repels positive charges. Then the positive charges repel from the positive voltage at the gate and attracting the negative free electrons. So through this animation you start to see that free electrons are attracted underneath the gate. As the gate voltage becomes more positive, so if we increase the gate voltage more, the gate attract more electrons from the source. You see, because the bulk doesn't have a lot of free electrons, but you need a lot of free electrons. So where you will get the free electrons from, we will get them from the source because the source is made of heavily doped n-type material. Then we will attract these electrons underneath the gate from the source, and now what we do is we are creating a channel between the drain and the source. What do we mean by a channel? Now we have a continuous link of negative charges between the drain and the source, and now the current can flow from the drain to the source. What we can say now, once the channel is created, a current will flow from the drain to the source. And this is very powerful observation, you have to really see it. What we did is we said that if you apply a positive voltage to the gate, the gate will attract negative electrons from the source and will rebuild the positive holes from the bulk and now you create a channel between the drain and the source, so now we can conduct current from the drain to the source. See, So this is called to create a channel. 
and we are ready to introduce a very important concept in mass devices which is called the threshold voltage the threshold voltage is the minimum gate to source voltage to turn the transistor on basically to create that channel or that link between the drain to the source the value of the threshold voltage depends on the concentration of the doping of the p-type material underneath the gate and it can be adjusted which means that we can develop a technology that will have different threshold voltage for the transistor so the threshold voltage can be adjusted it is not a fixed value in reality the transistor even will conduct in the sub threshold voltage so the way we always think of the mass transistor is if we reach the threshold voltage channel created if we did not reach the threshold voltage channel is not created this is the way we like to think of it but in reality the transistor will conduct in the sub threshold voltage level in fact the drain current will be given as ID will equal to I naught times E to the VGS over zeta times VT so this equation is similar to the diode or the BGT equation and the catch is that the drains current increases exponentially below the threshold voltage so if VGS is zero you have zero current but as you start to increase VGS the drain current increases exponentially if VGS is less than the threshold voltage and this is a minor remark it's not important for us in this course but it is important when you physically develop the transistor you want it to make sure that if you want the transistor to be off to kill VGS to zero if you want the transistor to be on make sure that VGS is higher than the threshold voltage below the threshold voltage or around the threshold voltage you have a lot of problems so make sure you do that when you design your circuit or you bias the transistor that the transistor going to have zero VGS to turn it off or it's going to be higher than VT to turn it on and these are part of the design requirements that you have to fulfill when you design your circuit also the threshold voltage is a function of the source to body voltage VSP the threshold voltage then is given as VTH will equal to VTH0 plus gamma times the square root of 2 phi of F plus VSB that's an absolute value minus the square root of the absolute value of 2 phi F where VTH is the threshold voltage VTH0 is the threshold voltage when VSB is zero when the voltage from the source to the body is the same so if the voltage at the source equals to the voltage at the body then the threshold voltage will equal to v VTH0 as you can see here gamma is a process parameter that depends on parameters such as the concentrations of the dopings and so forth the 5F is the Fermi potential and VSP is the voltage from the source to the body keep in mind that VSP is always going to be less than or equal to zero it's a negative voltage so does the Fermi potential is a negative voltage as well so so far what we did we said that in order for us to make the transistor conducting we have to create a channel to create a channel we have to apply a positive voltage at the gate the positive voltage at the gate has to be greater than the threshold voltage whereas the threshold voltage is given by this equation 
You see, so that's so far what we said is in order for us to turn on the transistor, we have to create a channel such that the current will flow from the drain to the source. To create that channel, I have to apply a positive voltage at the gate, and that positive voltage has to be greater than the threshold voltage, and the threshold voltage is given by this equation.